Hello, in this episode we are going to learn to make API requests from one Ruby on Rails application to another. So in this example I have two uh, Ruby on Rails applications running on different uh, ports. You see I have two terminals and one application is running on the port 3000 and the other application is running on the port 3001. So in the port 3001 I have a list of movies. So I have these movies, I've just made a basic scaffold and I can go for example to slash movies uh, dot json and here i have a list of movies in the json format i can get for example the third movie movies uh, slash uh, three here i've got the third movie and in this uh, other absolutely new ruby and rails application i'm going to try to make uh, http requests uh, to get the json of uh, either one or many movies from uh, this uh, first application so how can we do it well first of all let's start by creating a basic uh, view Let's uh, say Rails generate controller home index. Okay, uh, let's start the server once again and go to slash home slash index. Okay, so I have this basic view and I'm going to try to fetch all the movies from this uh, other application. So how can I do it? Well, the underlying technology is going to be net HTTP that uh, is part of the Ruby language and the uh, Above it, uh, there are different gems like Faraday and HTTP Pod that make it really easy to use uh, this Nate HTTP to make different kinds of requests in the Ruby on Rails application. Now, it really doesn't matter which gem you use, Faraday or HTTP Party. To me, the main difference in them is the syntax. So in this example, we're going to use uh, Faraday. Now, let's try making a GET request from uh, our second Ruby on Rails application, from the consumer application to the host application. So, um, I'm going to go back to the generated controller and I will say uh, require Faraday and uh, inside the index I'm going to say uh, connection equals Faraday.new and I'm going to set a URL. Uh, for example, in this case I'm going to make a request to localhost 3001. So URL localhost 3001. Okay, and now I'm going to say conne connection.get and I'm going to make a request to slash uh, movies.json and uh, what will it give us? Uh, let's try, uh, yeah, getting a response. We'll say response equals connection get movies.json. Let's see if this works. Oh yeah, sure. I need to first uh, also add the gem Faraday to our uh, gem file. So I will say bundle add Faraday. Okay, starting the Rails server once again. And uh, let's put a binding here. Let's say uh, debugger. Okay, now I will try getting the home index once again. And you see we hit the binding. And let's try getting the response. So here is the response. Let's get response.headers, uh, response.status, uh, response.body. Okay, let's uh, try passing this response body. Let's say uh, body JSON equals uh, JSON.parse, response.body. Okay, and here we actually have uh, the list of uh, posts from our first application. So let's uh, continue and uh, try displaying this list of posts. I will say uh, body JSON at body JSON equals uh, JSON dot pass uh, response dot uh, body. And let's try rendering this body JSON in the home uh, index view. So I'll go to views, home index. Here I will say equals body JSON. Let's uh, go and see if it works, okay? So we have this uh, list of posts from the first application visible in the second application. Let's uh, try renaming one of uh, the records. Here you see it, it has title network. Here it is title network. I will try renaming, edit, network2, okay? I will refresh here. You see we made uh, another request and uh, we have network2 right here. So each time uh, 
we refresh our home index here, we make a well, API request to this other Ruby on Rails application, we get the list of uh, movies in a JSON format and we display them here. Let's try playing a bit more with this data. So we have body JSON. let's get just the first record, dot first. Okay, here's the first record, let's get just its title. Uh, I cannot use just title because uh, I would need to use this kind of syntax, title. But uh, if I use open struct, uh, I can use better kind of syntax. I would say uh, uh, something like first post equals open struct new body JSON dot first. And uh, let's get uh, first post dot title. Okay. And here we have the title. Let me just uh, remove this. Yeah, here we have the title. And using this open struct turns uh, this kind of uh, JSON hash into a Ruby object. So it becomes uh, easier to write uh, clear syntax. Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, this is a basic uh, get request. How can we make uh, post requests or other kinds of requests? Or how can we do it from a Rails console? Let's try doing it from a Rails console. I will uh, start the rail, yeah. Rails console in my second application and let's try making a request. I will get the connection, I will make a request, I will get the, the body JSON. Okay, body JSON and here we have this list of records. Now let's try making a request uh, to the show view of a single movie. So uh, instead of making a request to slash movies, they'll make a request to movies slash uh, two, for example. Response, let's make this request le and let's make uh, body JSON, add body JSON. Okay, so here we have just a single movie. Now, how can we make a post request or an update request or a delete request? Let's uh, see, it would be um, slightly different. So for, uh, yeah. This is show, this was uh, index. Let's uh, try making a, a delete request. So uh, we'll try deleting the second movie. How can we do it? It would also be quite easy. We would just say uh, uh, connection dot delete and we would have slash movies slash two dot JSON. Let's see if it works. Uh, I'll make this request. And what do I have here? Uh, invalid authenticity token. Okay, so I'm going to fix this by going to our first application. And uh, I will uh, have to say that, uh, well, I want to allow non-get requests uh, in uh, to this controller. So I'll go to the first Ruby app. I'm going to movies controller. And I will uh, add this protect from forgery with null exception and try once again. So let me start the server, Rails server port 3001. Okay, and again, I will try to delete, in the, se delete the second movie. And uh, we have a successful response here. Let's see if it has actually been deleted. So I'm going to the movies and uh, slash two and yeah it doesn't exist anymore okay so this was a delete request now how can we create a movie uh, so to create a movie uh, let's say we are going to have some kind of a uh, data that we're going to pass so we would say uh, post data equals uh, and we're going to have some kind of json so we'll have post Inside we'll have, uh, what does a post have? Oh, actually not a post, but a movie. So it is going to be movie data. We're going to create a movie from application two into application one. So movie, and movie is going to have uh, title, uh, Yaro, and uh, yeah, I guess that's uh, uh, enough. And we're going to say response equals connection dot post uh, slash movies dot json uh, do request and here we're going to pass the movie data 
in the request body. So request dot body equals JSON dot generate uh, movie data. Let's uh, see if this would actually work from the console. So we'll have uh, movie data and I would say JSON generate movie data. Okay, so let's try sending this kind of uh, payload and see if it works. Okay, uh, yeah, not rig, but rig vest. Okay, uh, we have parameter missing or empty movie. So possibly I will also have to say request dot headers and I will say uh, content type uh, equals application JSON. Let's try making this request uh, once again. So we'll have movie data and we're going to make this post request. Okay, and you see a movie has been created. So uh, making this uh, API request from uh, application two, we created a movie in application one. Let's go back to our movies list in application one and uh, let's find Yaro. And here yeah, this movie has been created. Okay, looks uh, oh, quite good. Now let's try uh, updating an existing movie. So uh, this was the create action and we'll, we'll add the update action. Uh, so for update, we are going to have something slightly similar to the create action. Uh, let's just copy this. And uh, let's change Yaro to Yaro part two. And it is going to be connection dot uh, update. And uh, we will need to have uh, the ID of the movie that we, oh yeah, not connection update, but connection patch. Yeah, sure. Movies slash, what is the ID of this movie? 11, so movies 11. Let's try making this request from our console. Let's uh, refresh the movie here and you see the movie has been updated. So I was doing it all in the console of the second application and you see each time I uh, made this kinds of requests, uh, I was making this request to the first application. And this is the basic of how you can make uh, uh, HTTP requests from uh, one Ruby on Rails application to another application or basically to any kind of uh, API. And we have uh, covered uh, getting the list of records, uh, getting a single record, creating a record, updating a record, and destroying a record. So um, yeah, this is uh, the fundamental. And uh, based on this, you can uh, build uh, clients for all kinds of uh, APIs. So I hope uh, this episode helped you and see you in the next one.